Yeah, I think our number one concern is just to make the, make sure the entire group's ready to go, to make sure that we have a game plan that, um, you know, we'll, we'll do a good job against Cleveland's defense. They have some great players over there. Um, obviously, uh, you know, the two guys on the edge are a major problem, so we'll have to deal with them first and foremost, and I think you can't really overlook that before you do anything else. This guy's doing everything physically he can to get back on the field full-time for us. He's doing everything he can possibly mentally to prepare for the game. Uh, he comes in every day focused. He does a great job in meetings, does a great job on the field, all right, and what he can do out there when he's with us. So, you know, very encouraged by how he's working. We all know he's doing everything he can to get back on the field. He came into this league as a long shot, as a free agent out of uh, NC State, and he's been able to stick around as a guy that can do some of the dirty work for us and then, and also go out there and be a, a, a key piece to us on uh, when it comes to catching passes as well, especially on third downs. He plays hard. Um, he does everything the right way. He prepares the right way practices hard um it's it's no surprise he goes out there and he does exactly what he's asked to do every day and uh does it does it well a lot of a lot of different weapons like i said they're an efficient offense they stay on track really well they uh, they don't really go backwards much and um, they're always moving the ball forward so uh we got our hands full and you know it always starts with stopping the runs